Well, joining me now is the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. A very good afternoon to you, Sadiq Khan. Thanks so much for talking to us. Um, the Met Police Commissioner has released some staggering figures that have been unearthed today, including one of them in four out of five cases, he says, involving officers who faced allegations of sexual or domestic violence. He says that concerns still remain. How worried are you about some of the statistics coming out from his review? Well, like other Londoners and people across the country, of course I'm appalled and uh, disturbed by the findings of the new commissioner. But also I recognise these are important and necessary steps if we're going to change our police service from being one that's institutionally racist, institutionally misogynistic, institutionally homophobic, to one that's anti-racist, anti-misogynistic and anti-homophobic. And it shows, actually, that this new commissioner is making progress, first steps, to reform in our police service. But we've got to recognise we're still in the foothills of reform. Well, yes, and what should that formula look like? 161 officers have been found to have criminal convictions, another statistic he's produced today. Should an officer, in your view, be sacked if they have a criminal conviction, whatever that might be? Well, look, first, I think if you're a police officer, the standards expected of you should be higher than in other jobs in uh, society. I think there may be exceptional circumstances where somebody has a uh, conviction when they were very young. Uh, for, for a non-serious offence that has been spent and they should be allowed to be rehabilitated and join the police service. That is a real exception. What can't be right is there are police officers with convictions to do with sexual offences, to do with drink driving, to do with violence, who are police officers. And the problem is this, it's far too easy to be a police officer and it's far too hard uh, to get kicked out of the uh, police service. That's why for some time now I've been lobbying the government to change the national vetting rules to make it more difficult to be a, join a, the police service, but also to change the misconduct rules to make it easier to get rid of bad police officers. That's the only way we're going to change the culture in the police service, and the culture needs to be changed in the police service. Well, yes, and, and Sir Mark Rowley has also said that it is nonsensical, that he doesn't have the power to dismiss officers. And, as you say, it is hard to sack them, isn't it? And I think the Home Secretary has... Uh, is, it's, uh, it's up to her to, to review the regulations at present. So what you're saying is you would back any move to make it easier to sack police officers? Absolutely. She's the, the latest in the line of Home Secretaries I've been lobbying to change uh, the law for some time now. We've been calling for these uh, reforms. We've bolstered uh, the professional standards team so more officers can be investigated. We've opened up a hotline so as the public can ring the police service. Police officers who have got concerns about other officers can ring a MET uh, hotline. Uh, the police, under Sir Mark's leadership, have sped up the time it takes to investigate uh, complaints, but also, as you've said, he's looking back 10 years against any officer or police staff against whom an allegation has been made of domestic abuse and sexual offences. But it feels like we're doing it with one hand tied behind our back in relation to the lack of support from the government. No support financially from the government to make these uh, reforms and no support in relation to changing the law. It's really important that the government supports us in relation to transforming our police service. Londoners deserve this and need this. Nearly 100 Met Police officers are being moved to try to tackle this issue of, of rooting out unfit officers and improving standards. It means they're moving, though, from, from crime squads and priorities like tackling uh, crime and terrorism. Are, are you worried about the gap that leaves? I am concerned, of course. We in London are 1,400 officers short of the number of officers we should have. So if the government gives us those officers we need, it makes this uh, job a bit easier. But it's about priorities. It is one of our priorities to improve trust and confidence in the police amongst ordinary Londoners. It is one of our priorities uh, to make sure we change the culture in our police service. It is one of our priorities to get rid of those bad police officers who are serving police officers. That means moving 90 officers from doing really important crime fighting in this part of the police service to the professional standards to moment. And the reason why that's important is because Dame Louise Casey found in her interim report that it was taking far too long to investigate officers against whom allegations had been made. The average length of a case before Sir Mark became commissioner was more than 430 days. That can't be right. That led to other officers uh, losing confidence in reporting officers because it's taken so long to investigate their particular complaint. Also, members of the public made a complaint. It took years for their complaint to be investigated. So I support Sir Mark in relation to moving officers uh, to the professional standards team, but also another reason for the government to support us by giving us the resources we need for these 1,400 extra officers that London needs. 
You sound frustrated at the, the state that the Met Police is in, and yet, as Mayor of London, you're effectively elected police commissioner of the Met. Do you have any regrets over your oversight of, of some of these issues of criminality within the, the force and, and the problems amongst unfit officers? Look, it gives me no pleasure at all, no pleasure at all, in being vindicated for some years now. I've been raising these issues, shining the light on these issues. As a young Londoner, when I walked this city, I was often stopped and searched by the police for no reason. As a young Londoner driving my car, I was often stopped by the police for no good uh, reason. As a lawyer, I gave evidence to the Home Affairs Select Committee trying to bring about reform. And also, I gave evidence to the McPherson Report. For the last few years as the mayor, I've been trying to bring about change. That's ultimately what led to me asking for the independent review into the police systems and cultures from Dame Louise Casey. It's ultimately what led me to lose confidence in the former commissioner and what's led me to appoint this uh, new commission. I see reforming the police service as a critical part of my mayoralty. Londoners deserve a police service uh, that looks like them, but also has high standards. OK, Sadiq Khan, uh, Mayor of London, we appreciate your time this afternoon. Thanks very much indeed for, for sharing your views with us today. Thank you.